It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking about square roots and cube roots. We'll review what a cube root is, and we'll review what a square root is as we solve a problem. Here's our question today. Which of the following equations are true? We're asked to select the two true equations. Here's where you pause the video, you examine these five answer choices, pick two, and then come back to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. We're looking for two true equations of these five equations. So let's review, we're looking at cube roots and square roots. Let's start with our square roots. The square root of a value, what we're looking for is a number when multiplied by itself twice, then we have our square root. So this base squared, and then that value, the square root of that is equal to that factor. So we have a factor when multiplied by itself gives us this value underneath the radical sign called the radicand, and the square root of that value is one of those factors when multiplied by yourself gives it this value. When we look at a cube root, right, the index here is three. We have an invisible index here that's two. And inside our value, when written, with a power of th an exponent of three, that power, that factor, our base, the cube root of this value is a. So whatever the number is, when multiplied by itself three times, that value is equivalent to the cube root. All right, let's look at our first a, right? This is a square root. We have an invisible index here of two and 100 written as, we're looking for two factors. So 100 can be written as 10 squared because 10 times 10 is 100. So that means when we look at this, that the square root of 100, which is the square root of 10 squared, that it's gonna be equal to 10. That is not 50. So A is not true. Looking at B, again, square root, we have an invisible index here, which is two. So we're gonna write 121 as a power with an exponent of two. So 121 is a perfect square. We can call that 11 squared. 11 times 11 is 121. So therefore the square root of 121 or 11 squared is 11. This equation is true. So there's one of our two true equations. Now the rest of our choices are cube roots. So let's look at C. We have the cube root of 27. We're gonna write 27 as a power. So what factor multiplied by itself three times is equal to 27? That's three. Three cubed is 27. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. Then we take the cube root of that, it's equal to the base of the power. So the cube root of 27 is three. That is not what this equation says, it says it's nine. So we're gonna eliminate choice C. Looking at choice D, we have the cube root of 64. So we're gonna write 64 as a power with an exponent of three. That is going to be four cubed. Four times four is 16, 16 times four is 64. So four cubed is equivalent to 64. The cube root of 64, which can be written as four cubed, is four. This equation is true. So we have our second equation. So we know that we have our two, but let's check E just to make sure we didn't make a mistake. Looking at this, we have the cube root of 125. That's a perfect cube. We can rewrite that as a power of five cubed. Five times five is 25. 25 times five is 125. So the cube root of 125, also written as five cubed, is five. This is not true. The cube root of 125 is not 42. So that's not true, and we have our two true equations, which are B and D. Thanks for joining me today to review square roots and cube roots here at The Magic of Math. Thanks for joining me, where we master math, one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe, come back soon, and have a great day.